I don't think most people are aware of it yet, but there's a new film coming out in the spring called Civil War. It's a modern depiction of what a civil war might look like in the United States. The White House issued warnings to the Western forces as well as the Florida Alliance. The three-term president assures the uprising will be dealt with swiftly. Let me know if you want to try anything on. I guess I'm aware there's like a pretty huge civil war going on all across America. Its first trailer is out, and I can't speak for anyone else, but it left an impression on me. I found myself still thinking about it even a few days later and thought I'd share my thoughts on it. I don't think there's much to spoil, but still, if you haven't seen it, I'd recommend pausing and watching it for yourself before we go on. Okay, getting into it. I suppose what strikes me about the film is that it seems like a milestone. I could picture historians in the future talking about our time period and saying that things got so bad that this film was produced and released. It's a film about a concept, a modern civil war in the United States, which in this day and age doesn't need an introduction or an explanation. It can show in graphic detail Americans shooting one another and even torturing one another. And it doesn't seem out of place or strange or uncalled for. Regardless of whether or not we agree with the filmmaker's perspectives, we understand this as social commentary. We understand that this is a film trying to speak to our time. We understand why the film is being made, and we understand what exactly about our time is being commented on. Its significance is self-evident, so the American public accepts it. Which brings me to the second thing that I want to talk about, which is the normality of it. If this film was released even 15 or 20 years ago, I think it would have caused widespread shock and even confusion. I think it would have been called gratuitous and unnecessary and even cheap. I'm sure for many people, the imagery was shocking, but I think the public reaction to the film so far has been, if anything, muted. The reporting on the film so far has been minimal and the numbers drawn to the trailer modest. It could be because the film and the trailer aren't good ones. And I'm personally skeptical of political films myself. But I think also what's at play here is that the concept itself doesn't have as much novelty as the filmmakers might have thought. I think we've become accustomed enough to the concept that it's become somewhat mundane, a fact of life. If you look at the comments, the people there aren't shocked or outraged or amazed. They're cracking jokes or calmly speculating about who would be on whose side or commenting on the quality of the acting. If anything, there seems to be a prevailing sense of comfort with the topic, a casualness, which makes me wonder if people are really grasping what we're talking about. The motivation for creating films like these, I think is typically a preventative one. If what we're talking about is horrible, but it's an abstract horror, not something we can really understand or recognize, then perhaps seeing a dramatized depiction of it can help it click. By transporting us there, it can help us understand that what we're talking about truly is horrible and can help us, therefore, desire to avoid it. That is assuming, if it's still a safe assumption, that we don't actually want another civil war.